Hello, everyone. I'm really happy to introduce a new decoupled model. It's two library projects. I did decouple it from Unity Amps project just because it's pretty flexible and it should be available to any C -sharp .NET projects. So this one is independent from Unity editor and it could be used in any .NET environment starting from probably unit, um, .NET 5 uh, and go on, like all the way to the top to version 10 or 11, if 11 exists, I'm not sure. Um, so what's going on right here? So the key point, it's like, you're probably already familiar with MSP protocol, but I'm just gonna briefly explain it one more time. Um, in the MSP protocol, we have two, important subjects for this scenario what i'm going to talk that's mcp client and mcp server mcp client that's the chat window where the user gonna talk with ai mcp server it's independent usually background application that's going to provide some additional tools or other stuff like resources um, to mcp client and just because of this combination, AI can be much operate. Can, sorry, AI can operate much better on different tasks, and everything's good. But what if your tools, resources, or where, wherever is existing in somewhere like your application or in another application? I'm gonna give you a real sample. What I'm using that's Unity Editor. Unity Editor. It's an application. Um, it's a client side application. So if we have MCP server running like a server, it cannot be a client at the same time. I mean, it, it can be, but that's gonna be a very terrible combination. Ideally, it should be independent. So, or like a Blender, by the way, or Photoshop, all of those applications, they are independent. They should not be part of the server because server has a very sensitive life cycle and two different protocols, which are also sensitive to life cycle and location of the server. Let's say if server is gonna run in uh, STD.io transport mode, usually it should be launched locally like like a local background application, and it should be launched by a direct command from MCP client. So if MCP client gonna launch Unity Editor, that's bad actually, like because of many reasons. And life cycle of MCP client could be also like very short. If you are gonna close it, then Unity Editor should be closed and then open it again. So it's heavy and it's not efficient. Ideally, the application should be independent. Another scenario, what if we made a game for you from Unity? The game is for sure independent application and it's gonna be launched on a user's client device. Um, so we still can have the connection by using, uh, um, no, sorry, it's not gonna work like, like that at all. Um, we can make it work, by introducing the concept of the plugin. I call it MCP plugin. So plugin by itself nature, it's like kind of like a thing that could be added into application. So in this implementation, MCP plugin, it's a mirror of MCP server features, but on the client side. It doesn't have full MCP protocol API, and it does not directly connect to MCP client. It only connects to MCP server. So it could be this type of combination. It could be a single MCP server and five MCP clients can get connected to that server and the server is in a cloud. Clients could be local local devices like uh, iPhones or PC or something else. So as a result, 
the tools which are available in the application, like Unity Editor or like your game made with Unity or any other .NET application, they become available on the MCP server, and then MCP server gonna drop it to MCP client, and as a result, the full schema works. The life cycle is done. The chain is completed. All right. Um, so it adds a flexibility. Uh, I do use this project in Unity MCP for for creating uh, for doing where is it? It's here for letting AI to get connected to Unity, and it works pretty well. So this project has two libraries. Uh, the first one it's MCP plugin itself. And another one, that's MSP plugin server. Both of them are libraries. They should be added into your projects as dependencies. So you would need to have a pair. You would need to have MSP uh, plugin integration somewhere. It could be, in my case, it, it is Unity Editor. In your case, it could be anything else. It may work easily for Godot, by the way. If anyone would like to to make something like that for Godot, um, and then you also would need to have an MSP server to to work uh, to complete your chain of, of MSP protocol. Uh, so if you're gonna add this one as a library, uh, it's gonna work. It has some setup sample how to do that. For example, there is how you can set up MSP plugin on a client side, and you can provide a list of tools. You can take them from your current assembly. It's going to be scanned automatically, um, and it's going to be found. Uh, so you can add your tool pretty easily, actually. I have a sample right here in Unity MSP projects. Um, so you can use attributes like MSP, MSP plugin tool at the class name and MSP plugin tool, uh, sorry, MSP plugin tool type at the class name and MSP plugin tool at the function name above. You can provide description like this. So AI gonna gonna have the access to this description. It's gonna see this name. It's gonna see this title, uh, and it's gonna see all the variables inside of the function. You can provide any additional description to each variable. So um MCP, mcp plugin gonna read all of this and generate a tool mcp tool from it in the same way you can add prompts also like two arguments here and there provide data description if you want and yeah and that's it prompt is done um and the same is working for resources. I just don't have the full documentation here, probably. Yep, I didn't see it. Um, all right. So that's how it works. Uh, let me know if you have any questions or any advices or any propositions. Where would you like to use it? I'm pretty curious about that. I'm pretty sure it has a lot of use cases. So yeah, I would like to hear your options. All right. Thank you, guys.